Hi everyone, I hope you're okay and I hope that the videos we keep uploading are helping you out. This is the second question guys whereby I'm tackling Doppler effect post exam questions. Uh, just note that guys uh, you must expect a total number of 11 questions and all of these 11 questions are extracted from past exam question papers. Each and every question will have its own video. Uh, just stay tuned guys and 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 please do share these videos guys because a thing or two that i'll mention in each and every video will help your peer definitely okay the doppler effect is 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 applicable to both sound and light waves it also have it also has it, it also has very important applications in our everyday lives okay uh, we are told that a hooter on a stationary train emits uh, a hooter on a stationary train emits sound with the frequency of, of 520 hertz this is the frequency of our source right this is the frequency of our source uh, our source is the hooter of the train are you together and we are told that our source is stationary by just reading that first line guys i'm to, I'm, I'm, I'm being told about two things the frequency of the source is equals to 520 and the velocity of the source is zero meters per second before i, I okay let, let, let me let me read the entire the entire statement now yeah? we are told that um okay a hooter on a stationary train emits uh, emits sound with a frequency of 520 hertz as detected by the person standing on a platform uh, assuming that the speed of sound in air is 340 meters per second are you together uh so please check over here guys the formula that we will use now for calculating in doppler effect is always fl is equals to v plus or minus vl all over v plus or minus vs now uh since we have a stationary source it simply means that guys our our denominator uh, we have fl is equals the denominator will just be v why because our source is stationary and its velocity will become zero meters per second are you together or uh the denominator will just be v ne, guys but it differs now guys ne? whenever the the listener is moving towards the stationary source uh, you'll have a v as well as plus velocity of the listener are you together and then whenever the listener is moving away from the stationary source you'll have a v minus the velocity of the listener this happens whenever there's a way movement of the listener from the source okay uh, and then now let's see we are being asked to calculate the way the the wavelength of the sound detected by the person the wavelength of the sound detected by the person uh we do have the frequency right uh frequency is equals to the velocity all over the wavelength are you together and our frequency -ish, let me write over there frequency emitted by the hooter uh, the frequency is just 520 the speed of sound in air is 340 and then there's wavelength over there ne? that means my wavelength is just 340 divide by 520 my wavelength is 340 divide by 520 i'll simply get uh 0 0.65 meters this is this is the wavelength detected by the person who, who is also standing stationary uh at the platform or rather next to the next next to the train and then we are told that uh, wavelength of sound detected by the person 
when the train moves towards him okay now the train is moving towards uh, a stationary a, a stationary listener are you together the train is moving towards a stationary listener over there guys i've given you formulas to use whenever uh whenever the listener is the one which is moving and the train is stationary are you together now now let me give you the the formulas to use whenever the listener is stationary and the source is the one which is moving are you together <laughs> So our numerator, since the listener is stationary, it simply means we'll simply have a V at the top, and that V represents the speed of sound. The V represents the speed of sound. Okay, we have a V and a VS. V and a VS over there. Please note that, guys. If and only if the moving source is moving towards the stationary listener it simply means at the bottom you will have a negative sign are you together and if and only if a moving source is moving towards a stationary is moving away rather from a stationary listener at the bottom you'll have a, a positive over there are you together you'll simply have a positive so now now let's see what, what do they want us to calculate they say calculate the, the wavelength of the sound detected by the person when the train moves towards him or her at a constant speed of 15 meters per second with the hooter still emitting sound. Okay, the, the key word here is, is that the train is moving towards the stationary listener. Okay, so the frequency of the source is still 520 hertz. The frequency of the listener, we do not know that. Uh, the velocity of the listener, the listener is stationary, so it's zero meters per second. And then the source is the one which is moving at a constant speed of 15 meters per second. And then the speed of sound in air is 340 meters per Per second. Remember that, guys. We are told that the train is moving towards our source is moving towards. So we'll simply say F L is equals to V. Uh, yes, it's V plus minus V L over V plus minus V S multiplied by F S. Right. So since. Uh, since my listener is stationary, my numerator will simply be V and my denominator will be V minus the velocity of the source. Why? Because the source is moving towards the the source is moving towards the listener. And and since I'm calculating the frequency, guys, before finding the before finding the wavelength, I'm expecting to get a frequency which is greater than 520. Why? Because the listener because rather the, the, the source is moving towards the listener. Okay. Uh, FL is equal to 340 all over 340 minus 15 meters per second multiplied by 520. Uh, so this will basically give me 340, 340 minus 15 times 520 I'll simply get the frequency detected to be 544 hertz but I was never asked to find the frequency right I was asked to find the wavelength remember that guys for me to find the wavelength I need to take a frequency uh, equated to the velocity divided by the the wavelength so that's 554 is equal to 340 all over my wavelength are you together so therefore the wavelength is simply 340 divided by 544 340 divided by 544 this will give me 0.625 meters or 0.63 meters that's how guys are supposed to tackle that question uh, 0.625 meters explain why the wavelength 
calculated in question 6.1.1 differs from that obtained in question 6.1.2 okay remember that guys wavelength uh, let me answer this question by just using proportion proportionalities né? let me choose a different color a wavelength is inversely proportional to a frequency are you together guys so once you detect a higher frequency the wavelength the the, the wavelength that will be detected has to be lower are you together so it differs uh the answer in 6.1.1 and 6.2.2 why because in 6.1.2 uh the frequency detected by the listener is higher than that of the frequency of the source are you together and since the frequency is higher than that of the frequency of the source the wavelength detected has to be smaller than that of the frequency of the source are you together uh, I, I believe that if, if even if you can write this uh, you might get you, you might get marks and then now we must we are told to use uh, our knowledge of doppler effect to explain redshift okay a redshift occurs op um, <laughs> the redshift occurs when a spectrum of a distant star is moving away from the universe and hence uh and hence that distant star it will be redshifted uh on 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 the on the spectrum of colors are you together uh, whenever guys they talk about red shift they are they, 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 they are telling you they are telling you that the distant star is actually moving away from the from the universe are you together and and if a distant star is moving away from the universe uh that star the the observer will detect uh the observer will detect a lower frequency are you together and obviously when there's lower frequency there is greater wavelength are you together and hence and hence the star is moving away because the wavelength is greater that's how guys we're supposed to tackle this question over there uh just stay tuned guys and wait for more